The U.S. Supreme Court begins hearings today which could overturn one of the biggest achievements of the Obama years and invalidate health insurance for as many as 23 million Americans. The bench of nine judges, now with a strong conservative majority, will consider the validity of the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, which transformed the U.S. health marketplace. Obamacare gave new coverage to many young adults and it allowed coverage of pre-existing medical conditions, which could now, of course, potentially include the after effects of COVID-19. But it also cost a lot of people a lot of money in terms of monthly premiums and government subsidies. Well, we can talk now to one of the architects of the Affordable Care Act, health care attorney uh, and academic Daniel Dawes, the author of 150 Years of Obamacare. Professor Dawes, remind us what you feel is at stake here, how this really changed the landscape for health care in America. Sure, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. It is good to be with you today, Philippa. Uh, you know, the Affordable Care Act is the most comprehensive and inclusive health reform law that the United States has ever been able to realize. This has taken us over 220 years. In fact, when the United States was founded, there were a group of mental health reformers, abolitionists, uh, folks who fought for the homeless, all of these champions, right, who were pushing to expand the safety net with our early government. Unfortunately, they lost that political advocacy. It would take them 75 years after that, with a major civil war in this country, to finally realize the country's most comprehensive health policy tackling uh, medical care access in this country. But opponents of that effort succeeded year after year, after Abraham Lincoln had signed it into law, succeeded on the seventh anniversary in overturning that law. Now, 150 years after that, we worked on the nation's most comprehensive and most equitable health policy, the Affordable Care Act. And as a result of that effort, we were able to put in reforms, mental health reforms, making this law the most comprehensive mental health reform law in the United States. We were able to put in their protections, right? Section 1557 of the law provides a private right of action that you can use to go into a court of law if you are discriminated. So if women, for instance, are charged more than men for health care services, or the insurers rescind their coverage because they were the victims of domestic abuse. All of those protections are in and there Professor, to protect consumers. Yes. And Professor Dawes, I have traveled around the United States talking to people about the act you helped put together. And I've heard that phrase, socialized health care, many times, a feeling from many people that it's not the government's place to provide this sort of coverage. And that being said, I want to ask you, if this is struck down, if it falls apart as a result of a Supreme Court ruling, what happens? Well, it leaves a major gap in health policy for us. And I would actually push back uh, when folks talk about socialized medicine because, you know, this was not the um, bill that many of us really wanted. In fact, I would actually argue this couldn't be a more Republican bill because the ACA was developed with templates used from Republican lawmakers as well as Democratic lawmakers. So if that were to be overturned, uh, I am afraid that we would see a, uh, an unraveling of our health care system. There would be dire economic and national security issues at stake, because if people are not able to get access to health care, right, if they are dying prematurely, then how in the world can we outcompete our global competitors? How can we actually defend the nation, right, especially younger folks who are being um, um, inflicted by this uh, COVID pandemic? Professor Daniel Dawes, thank you for being with us today. My pleasure.